we want to simplify the given radical expression, and we'll show how to simplify this two ways. We'll first use rational exponents, and then we'll simplify it in radical form. To write this expression using rational exponents, we'll start with the innermost radical, which is the square root of 64. Because we have a square root, the index is 2, and the exponent on 64 would be 1. And therefore, in rational exponent form, this would be equal to, we'd start with 64, raised to the power of 1 half. Remember, when going from radical form to rational exponent form, the index gives us the denominator of the rational exponent, and the exponent gives us the numerator of the rational exponent. So 64 to the 1 half power is the same as the square root of 64. And then we're taking the cubit of this, which would be equivalent to raising this to the 1 third power. And we're taking the fourth root of this, which would be equivalent to raising this to the 1 fourth power. Then all of this is raised to the eighth power. So we have all of this raised to the eighth. And now to simplify this, because we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents given by this exponent rule here. We have a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So we would have 64 raised to the power of 1 half times 1 third times 1 fourth times 8, which will write as 8 over 1. Now before multiplying our exponents, let's simplify. Notice in the denominator we have 2 times 4, which equals 8. We also have an 8 in the numerator, and 8 divided by 8 simplifies to 1. So this simplifies to 64 raised to the power of 1 third. And now to simplify 64 to the 1 third power, we'll write this back in radical form. Notice how the denominator of the rational exponent is 3, so we have a cube root. And we have 64 raised to the first power, so we can leave off the exponent. 64 is a perfect cube, and therefore this does simplify perfectly. 64 is equal to 4 to the third, and therefore the cube root of 4 to the third is equal to 1 factor of 4. So this entire expression does simplify to 4. But then I'll show how to simplify this a different way, leaving it in radical form as long as possible. So again, we now know this does equal 4. But we're going to show the simplification using a different method. So if we simplify this by starting with the innermost radical, which is the square root of 64, because 64 is a perfect square, this simplifies perfectly. The square root of 64 equals the square root of 8 squared, which equals 8. So if we simplify the square root of 64 to 8, this would leave us with the cube root of 8. And then we're going to take the fourth root of this. And all this is still raised to the 8th power. Now looking at the innermost radical again, now we have the cube root of 8, which again does simplify perfectly because 8 is a perfect cube. 8 is equal to 2 cubed, or 2 times 2 times 2, and therefore the cube root of 8 would be 1 factor of 2. So this would simplify to the fourth root of 2, all raised to the 8th. And now at this point, we cannot simplify the fourth root of 2, so we'd rewrite this using rational exponents. So 2 is the same as 2 to the first. So inside the parentheses, we would have 2 raised to the 1 fourth, all raised to the 8th. And again, here we have powers to powers, so we'd multiply the exponents. 1 fourth times 8 is equal to 8 fourths or 2. So this simplifies to 2 squared, which equals 4. So we get the same result using a different method. I hope you found this helpful.